So new pictures of Charlotte have been released and Harry is being refused to stay at Windsor. I wonder why. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Now let's get into this. My lighting has died. So this video is a bit more orange. Apologies for that. But more images of Charlotte have been released for her birthday. And the images obviously look weird again. Happy ninth birthday, Princess Charlotte. Thank you all for the kind messages today. The Prince and Princess of Wales captioned. And in this picture, you can see that she's basically wearing the same clothes that she was wearing in that photo international scandal and leaning on this, I don't even know what it is, a bush. Um, I don't know how you're even doing that. Like, again, it just doesn't look like it was taken a couple of days ago. It's been confirmed via Chris Ship that the photo was taken by Kate in Windsor, where the family lived last week, says Kensington Palace. But she's wearing the same exact clothes that she was wearing when that photo international scandal took place. So how on earth does it look like it was taken now, recently, a couple of days ago, last week? What it looks like to me is that it was taken on that specific day that this picture was taken, edited, or put together, because it doesn't make any sense. And I'm not surprised that this time with the picture of Charlotte, they have confirmed that they are bypassing the photo agencies and they are not putting up you know, the pictures being credited by Getty or any of them. They have bypassed them all to just upload it on their own accounts. They're doing this so that they don't get checked by these agencies to claim whether the picture is real or not or taken last week. It's deceptive, they're playing in our faces. And once again, like it's bad with what they're doing because they're putting the children in the limelight to be you know, under speculation, whether it's real or not. We shouldn't be looking at pictures of children and wondering if the picture is real or not. That should be no interest of us. But they've made that become an interest of the audience by creating pictures with children that are fake. So therefore, we look at future pictures of the children and are going to look at them sideways. That same um, blazer that she's wearing, whatever you want to call it, cardigan. It's just, I don't know, to me it is very weird. Very weird indeed. I don't know how she's even leaning on this uh, particular bush. It, 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 that in itself doesn't make sense. Um, I'm just not buying this, unfortunately. I'm not buying it. Not really because of what she's wearing, but because this time they're bypassing agencies. That is why I'm not buying it. They're taking a different protocol, breaking royal traditions, breaking royal protocols, which is okay for Kate and William to do. And that is the reason why I'm not buying this picture is because they've bypassed the agencies. And to me, it just looks genuinely weird that they have done that. Prince Harry is staying in a hotel, it's believed, and that he's not staying at Windsor because he's not allowed to stay there and it's been refused, rejected. And that to me is interesting again. When has Harry been rejected from staying at Windsor? Is something going on there? Will he find information about what is going on between these two? And therefore they don't want him to find that information because he will release it publicly, which he has done so via Netflix and via Spare, and therefore they're worried that he might release information publicly. Because why else is he being rejected from staying at Windsor when he is the son of King Charles, when he is the son of Diana, it does not make any sense to me unless they're hiding information that they don't want him to find out. They already know that Meghan is not coming. She snubbed the UK, but they want to protect certain information because why would he be rejected from making advances to stay somewhere that he is royally entitled to stay, which is therefore leading him to get a hotel, which therefore makes him believe even more so that he definitely is a spare. And this de just, just kind of explains it. Me, I'm looking at it as are they hiding things from Harry that they don't want him to know about Kate and what is going on? because the funny stories coming out about Kate of the last couple of days, strategically placing and stalking, you know, the, the Prince William, and then now suddenly, um she likes to swim in the dark and cold. It was only a couple, it was only a month ago, they're talking about the depths of the Middletons and how that's stressing, you know, William or the debt to me it just looks all fishy when we look at the trail of this UK press and so we're just going to see where this goes where this takes but yet again I'm not buying this picture of Charlotte I wasn't buying the picture of Louis um, I, I feel like they're just taken at a different time and are being used right now they're not the Kensington Palace I firmly believe are lying there's no way this picture of Charlotte was taken a couple of days ago like I just I'm just not buying it um, and again William being seen with George for the Aston Villa game it's giving solo dad solo father you know narrative i think it's just being pushed as concha states herself in the previous video i made today we have not seen kate properly from publicly out and about with people the last time we saw that was christmas day something fishy is going on guys and it's just like 
But we are now in May. I've been speaking about this from February, late January. We are now in May. It's nearly been six months of documenting and reporting on this stuff. You would have thought this would have finished and been wrapped up by now. What is going on? What is going on? Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.